Hi, all. I'm Dan Smigrod, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum. Today is Thursday, June 9th, 2022, and you're watching WGAN-TV live at 5. We have an awesome show today for real estate photographers, Introduction to Urban Immersive Real Estate Photography Services, and joining us today to talk about this topic, Francois Hughes Leberge, uh, Vice President Business Development and Partnerships for Urban Immersive Inc. Hey, Francois, good to see you again. Good to see you, Dan. How are you? Awesome. Thanks for being on the show today. We got a lot to cover in terms of urban immersive real estate photography services. But before we jump in to those specific services, tell our audience, please, about Urban Immersive. Yes. Urban Immersive is actually a publicly traded company. We've been established in 2007. Uh, we have over 160 employees uh, across the world, mainly in North America, though. <laughs> and um, we started with 3D tours in 2007, so we were ahead of the wave. Uh, we had a lot of preaching to do to get out there, and we did all our shoots with uh, like a regular DSLR camera and doing 24 pictures at every uh, at every 360. So that was time consuming. It was a nice. Um, we had like a nice effect, a nice wow effect, but. Uh, we saw that it was like it was not a good business model, so we tried to design a multi-lens camera. Uh, again, because we're based in Quebec, not in Silicon Valley, we had some problems raising money for that. So we tried to do different things. Then we started a business solution. Um, we tried also to upgrade and upscale our um, our three D tour solution with three uh, D avatars, uh, UI tags, or what we call hotspots, so to document the intro are the 3D environment. And then um, with our business solution, we saw that there was a need for um, to offer services for photographers. So in 2018, we acquired TourBuzz, which is a platform for real, professional real estate photographers offering different kinds of services that we'll talk later on. <laughs> and um, in 2019, when we saw the technology evolving with the Ricoh camera coming out, things like that, so we, brought our 3D tours back to life and um that's been going on like for over two years now and working with the Rico camera and take uh for to take three sixties and offer 3D tours. So uh and now we're just like with that getting that more and more involved and more integrated into our platform and to offer like a full scope of services for photographers. Awesome. Uh, you're actually making my head spin. Uh, it sounds like urban immersive, the intersection of technology meets re real estate photography services in service to real estate photographers through the acquisition of TourBuzz. Um, and obviously, uh, uh, having grown quite a bit, uh, 160 employees, uh, 1,700 real estate photographers as clients, as you mentioned, and servicing 42,000 clients through that network of real estate photographers, quite awesome. Uh, I think it might be helpful if we jump into specific services. How, how about yes. we start with 3D tours? Yes. Um, our 3D tours are... Um... It's again our own technology that we've been mastering for 15 years now. So um, it's a um, really robust, robust so solution that's really flexible. Um, we're not we're there for to be open for business, and we know that also that our customers, real estate the photographers, have their own customers, and they're the ones servicing their the end user. So our three tours can be unbranded, branded. There's a really there's a lot of flexibility for that for in the three tours. Uh, maybe, maybe if we actually take a look at a 3D tour, because, you know, this is a space where people say 360 tour, 3D tour, yes. uh, virtual tour, digital twin. So it, it's uh, even though you said 3D tour, uh, it's a little bit hard to get my hands around on well, what exactly is a 3D tour. Plus, I know you have another service you're going to talk about called UI Meets meet 3d yes. so uh let's jump into to the 3d tour uh 3d tour perfect. services perfect so i'll show my screen i'll show you one uh, an example of a 3d tour so that's a real virtual tour it's what we've called a, <laughs> it's not a slide an interactive slideshow it's really 3d tour every dot that you see is where a 3, 360 has been done um because we work with the rico camera as you see, we can take also pictures easily outside. 
Uh, there's no, it's a real 360. It's not the, it's not just like a scan of an image. It's a really 360 that, that is the same one as inside. Um, click the door, so then I'm inside. Inside, a few differences, a few things that we have. Um, here we have a mini map that shows my location. Every dot is where a 360 has been done. I can click directly on it to go to that. So I don't have to walk through the whole thing if I want to get to a precise area. So that's with that. Then you can just, by clicking again, you can get the, the make the map disappear. With that, you have access to different floors. And if I click on second floor, it'll bring me directly to the second floor. And then again, we can just navigate. We can, I can zoom in, can zoom out. It's really all the functionality of a regular 3D tour. Um, also, I have measurements, so I can toggle measurements. And also, you have them on the floor plan also. The floor plan is built in, is built from the 3D tour. So when we create the 3D tour, we create the floor plan also. So there's no, there's no third parties involved, comes with it. There's two differences also, two differences in floor plans. You have like the basic floor plan where just the walls are drawn, or this one with all the furniture inside. A nice thing also for the floor plan is there's a, in our platform, there's a floor plan theater. So a, a professional photographer can go by themselves and do modifications of floor plan if they want. They don't have to come back to us. Uh, Francois, even before you talk about what the photographer can do, uh, yeah. let, let's just imagine I'm a homeowner. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Or I, I, I am, I'm a prospective buyer. I'm looking at this 3D tour. I see lots of information in the top left, the top right, the bottom row. Uh, could you take us yeah, through? I'll go, so the, I I'll go through that. Perfectly. Yeah. Okay. So here is like, that's why you got me three. That's like our, like a zoom inside. Uh, and I'll show you that afterwards more in details. But that's where I can get, if I, somebody here was visiting with me, they would be here. Ah, so this would be, is this a live guided chat with, uh, with video or is this a chat with text? It can be both. It can be like here in events, like you have, you can chat just like a regular chat. But if I have somebody else who here with me, I can unlock Jamie three D, and then with that, I'd be able to interact into the environment with that person. So what what we're seeing like somebody on Zoom, it'd be the same thing, but inside the the virtual tour. So we can walk together. Hey, look, take a look at this. Take a look at that, and we can see on the map. And I'll show you later on in the video, like. You'll see, you can see where the other person is in the house. So we say, come, come and join okay. me in the kitchen. So, 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 so let's do this because this is, this is an amazing feature in itself is the yeah. UI meet 3D feature. Yeah. Let's put that aside for the moment and let's continue taking a look at all the different uh, features uh, that are available in the 3D tour for a prospective buyer of this house. Perfect. So with that, like I said, the map with interactive map, and you can see also there's a, we have a dollhouse view that's on the side of it. And the thing is like, if you look, when I move the dollhouse moves also. So I can know, I can, you can know, if, especially if you want to renovate kind of some things. Okay, what's on the other side of this wall? Okay, then you think, the, okay, that's the laundry room. Okay, perfect. So that way it gives you like a real 360, like 3D view of the house. And like I said, it follows you also. So everywhere you go, you'll know exactly, uh, you can see how you move along. So though that's a nice feature. And then you just click back here and then you go come back to the interactive map. Okay. That's a dollhouse view from here. Um, if you look, it's the same thing as we had, but just like a more in overview. Uh, and you have like the two floors. We highlight the floor you see, but it's not, I cannot click on it to go back. Like I have to, when I click on this dollhouse here, then I come back. We have a print screen option. So if I see something, I, I, I want to show this to my designer, whatever, like I have to, or I really like, I really like this tub. Perfect. You just go, oh, sorry. Just go here, take screenshot, and then you have on your, in your computer a screenshot of this that you can send to anybody, a friends, family designer, or builders, or whatever. Just for clarification, when I click on that, it would actually download the photo. Exactly. Yeah. If I just think. So now it just appeared uh, in my, my my browser. I saw a download. Just going there. Yeah. We can take measurements directly. So just come from here to there. 
I don't remember when it's here. So that's like a pretty standard uh, feature, but we had it. <laughs> and here are all the settings if you want Imperial, if you want meters, so both depending. French, English, and Spanish coming pretty soon. And that's in full screen. So there's like, the, those are sort of basic features of the three tour in that. What I don't have to show you right yet. So. Well, up at top, I want to understand uh, what is the information in the top left? What's the information in the top right? Photos for Plan 3D. Right here. That's, that's in the single property website. So that's like part of a uh, 3D tour. But okay, like so that's, that's a major thing. feature of the urban immersive, the, the tour buzz yeah. 3D tour uh, is the single property website. We're going to think of that as a separate topic and we'll cover that. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. And then uh, floor plans, is that different than the interactive floor plan that we saw? Yes, it's, so the floor plan is like a regular floor plan that you can export in JPEG, AutoCAD, so it's really, it's a, it's a 2D floor plan. It's pretty much the same, like it's like this one, but in a separate folder and in a separate file. So if you so. click on the top right floor plan, is that going to download the floor plans from this tour? It will give you like in the single property website, it will give you access to it. Uh, but the cost, like the really the photographer, we have a custom a client panel where you can access the, the file for the floor plan. Oh, okay, so we'll we'll take a look. We're gonna consider floor plans in the discussion of single property websites. Yes, we sure, yeah. Okay. Or we can talk about floor plans right now if you want. Um, sure, Let, let's jump in on, I, I, I do wanna make sure we cover what's in the top left because I suspect that that's the, the age opportunity for the agent information. Perhaps yeah, that's the address and that, well, that's just a single property website. But in a 3D tour, that's not in the single property website. We have the option also to have a branded, so presented by, so it can be presented by Dan Smigrad, then you have that also when it's done in a single property website. Okay, so that's a whole separate conversation because there's lots yes. of different options for single property websites. So, exactly. So yeah. even though we're looking at that top bar, there are actually many options for single property websites where digital assets can be included. And we're gonna look at that separately. So exactly. I, I think before we move on, on the 3D tour, I had two questions. First, can we resize that interactive map? So I, I don't see sorry. that. Maybe we could step out of the bathroom. I'd rather- Yeah, sorry, I'll go. I'd, I'd rather I'll be go. someplace else. Great. And we'll that's- go, them. We'll go on the first floor. We'll go back Okay, here. we're gonna go to the main floor and you can get there either by walking. Exactly, so by here I could go just the stairs. We don't do the stairs because we found it's not uh, something that just takes time. So by that, I we have like I, a jump I, to- I, I love that. I just think, but well, you know, why should I have to walk up the <laughs> exactly. stairs? Just click on the icon to go up or down because essentially that's, that's what I want to do, right? Exactly. Okay. So that's what with jump twos also makes that e makes it easy if you have like a, a big property with uh, like, Garage, uh, garage in the back, or like a pool house that you don't want actually to walk through the yard. You can just jump to that directly, and I'll bring you to that also. Okay, so just for clarification, because you mentioned at the beginning a, a Rico Theta Z1 yes. camera to create this tour. Can I? Uh, I presume I'm using a Urban Immersive or Tour Buzz app. We have a capture app, exactly, Urban Immersive capture app that allows you to take the pictures by like, because of an app like that you can see when you do a 360, it, you see it right away and you can click on it to see what the footage you've got to make sure you have a nice footage. Uh, the good thing also from that is you can, they can, they're placed automatically, but if not for any reason, the app gives you some trouble, you can place a 360 that you've done manually. Okay. So you so won't have to start we're, over. We're, we're, okay. There's no that, struggle there, sorry, yeah. Let, let, let's not get into the back end because I'm. I'm uh, I, I think we're, we're going to be a homeowner section. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> we're going to cover that in another way. But I still want to ask the question about uh, cameras. Can I use any 360 camera with the Capture app? With the app for the the Ricos, it works for the Ricos. Um, so a Rico Theta Z1, a Rico Theta Z1 51 GB, a, exactly, Rico, a Rico Theta yep. X, the most recent one, Rico Theta the v, v, 
Yes, it will work. Okay, and even some older ones like the Rico Theta. The SC2 works also. Yeah. Works too. Okay, yeah. can I use an Insta 361X2? Some people have tried and were able to do it, but it's, we don't support it because we found that it's not um, different. The difference in quality is like we see a, there's a big difference between the image quality and we suggest people to jump up to the to the Z1 and. Got it. So if uh, if you're a real estate photographer, you're looking at this platform uh, and you want to be able to create 3D tours by a Rico three, a Rico Theta. The Z1 actually is the best one for our platform. But if not, we still have the customers that import 360 that they did actually from regular cameras. <laughs> and they're able in their client panel, they, they are able to download 360 images. So okay. they don't... They, in the capture app only works with certain cameras, but in our platform, they can, if they want, download through six images that they took from uh, other cameras. Okay, awesome. Uh, floor plans. Yes. Um, also just one thing, uh, like here to jump to could be, now it's a jump to, but it could be something different also. It could be a UI tag, so we can document the environment. So we can put information in about like a furniture, I can have some specs of what the, this uh, oven is, like the, the brand of it and all that. So there's different things like that that we can pin in also if you if you want. So that's, okay, uh, so you can add uh, tags within the tour. Uh, exactly. This particular tour doesn't have any. Can we, no. can we see what the 2D floor plan looks like? Yes, yeah, so if you want. To... That's a regular 2D floor plan. Uh, okay, so... How did I know to get there? Because I was staring at the word floor plan in the top right. You well, so do the same thing. If I just click on it, they'll just bring me. <laughs> it brings you there. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So, and this is a 2D floor plan. Uh, is there an opportunity as a prospective buyer to download this plan to my computer? Not really. Um, but it can be sent out if you want. It can be sent out um, by the photographer. And actually, in the media delivery, they have access to that also. Ah, okay. We're going to talk yes. about media yes. delivery. Yes. Uh, and one of the items that can be delivered or, or floor plan. So the JPEG of a floor plan. Uh, yes. Just, uh, I may be jumping ahead, but I, I'm just curious. The floor plan comes as a, a JPEG file. And JPEG file, and it could be a, a CAD file. It could be exported also in AutoCAD. Okay, which, yeah. which would be an SVG file. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Okay, yeah. so the uh, uh, so the the consumer looking at the three D tour can see it on their screen as part of the single property uh, website. So, um, do you want to talk about the 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 single property websites? Uh, before or after we talk about UI Meet 3D? Might as well talk about it because we're here right now so we can talk about it. Uh, we can show, I can show like a, that's an example of single party websites. I can show it right away. So might as well. Uh, while okay, we're here. So, so that's great. So uh, yeah. when we were, uh, oh, the, I interesting because you're using one here. This actually is one of the single property websites that Urban Immersive, Tour Buzz, offers exactly yeah that's when they actually that, that one is life <laughs> so people like that's when like it's in house for sale in arizona so here i have the information of the like the the seller or the agent so that the information can be here with all the uh, direct contacts and when you scroll down here's like if i click on the flyer it'll get me to that so i have a flyer of the property so the property is like i can choose it and I, again in the client panel the the photographer can choose like what layout they want so they can change the pictures, put any picture that they want. So that's that's fully customizable to what they want. Okay. We, we weren't going to do a back end of how all this stuff is created, no. but how hard is it for the photographer or for the real estate agent, if, if that's the case, to create a single property, to create a, uh, a flyer from all the digital assets? It's easy because especially photographers are used to Photoshop and things like that. So it's a drag and drop kind of thing. So for them, it's really, really easy. Just like they just need to, to select which pictures they want. So okay, I want this, this and one. And then 
everything's created automatically. So they just need to say what kind of information they want on it. And the templates that allows you to personalize it with all that, all the information. So it's really something that's um, really user-friendly to do. And there's a QR code also, so I can really download it right away on my phone if I want. Okay. So that's, uh, that's something that's really... Can you go back to that for a second? Yes. I'm going to, uh, I just want to go back to that QR code and just see in terms of that size. Okay, so it says tourbuzz.net and now it's launching and uh, then I can see the same tour on, on my iPhone that you've just been showing us. Exactly. Yes. Okay, uh, great. So uh, if you could scroll back, just so is the, is the, um, is the flyer always, is the flyer different based on what style single property websites being used or no, the, there's there are two different things there's like, they can customize the flyer they want and they can customize the single property website that they want. So it's like two different things. It's, um, they, they, they don't like, they can mix, mix match any one that they want. They just, they just have, it doesn't have to be one particular type of flyer with one perfectly, one particular type of websites, uh, single property websites. Okay, so so let's go back to the single property yes, website. website. Yes. And I, I think it's probably, um, could you speak to the, the variety and the quantity of single property websites and then also what kind of content can be included? Yes, we have 20 different layouts of single property websites. Um, the content is more of the same. Usually people want the same information in. So, but they can, if they want to put floor plans in, they can, if they don't have floor plans, floor plans won't be there. Same thing with 3D tours and photos. What will always be there is this. So I have like a view neighborhood. So I have like a map of the neighborhood where the, um, where the house is located. Plus all the um, local logic information about like car friendly, right. quiet. So all this yeah. is- uh, the, the print's a little bit small. So let's see if I can read it. Car friendly, car quiet. Friendly. Yep. High schools, restaurants. So if you click on restaurants, for example, I presume it's going to populate the restaurants. Exactly. Uh, so this is not something the photographer needs to build. This is automatically generated exactly. by the exactly. platform. Yes. Okay. And so I see some other uh, features in, in this window. Uh, restaurants, pedestrian friendly, vibrancy, uh, coffee shops, transit friendly, elementary school. There's quite a bit of information Yes. about what's available around that home for sale. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. okay. So that's view that. neighborhood and then view location on map. map. That's like, that's the Google shows you a uh, Google map uh, integration. So. Okay, great. And that comes with every single property website, okay. no matter the layout. So with that, then you get the photos. I can click on them. I can start a slideshow photos. And it'll go from one to the other. I can pause it if I want. So that's really um, standard stuff. <laughs> so. And then when I had when we go down again, like all the pictures are there, like 25 pictures are there. Then the floor plan is there. So the information about it. Um, one thing and on a like professional perspective for that, like I said earlier, floor plans we have floor plan creator. So if there's any modifications to do, the photographer can go by themselves in that to change that. So they don't have to wait for us for like send the information out. So I would need to change the name of this room or whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever well, an example, you called it a family room. I, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. We might call it a sunroom. So mm -hmm. I don't need to send back a, a change to Urban Immersive or to Tour Buzz. I can simply it. go into the content management system and change family room to sunroom. Exactly. Maybe exactly. that garage to carport. So uh, there may be some nuances of language that's different in Atlanta. Uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So so the photographer can change. What what else can you change? The the names. Pretty much the names. Of the furniture actually, if they want to put more furniture and have access to all their library of images. So if they like to have more couches here, they can do that. Uh, a TV room, a TV, some TV on the wall and everything. They can do anything they want pretty much with that. Okay. And so is there a, 
So I understand we're talking about real estate photographer, but is there also a real estate agent portal paired with this platform? The um, If the photographer gives access to his customer, they can. But it has like our customers and like so we have 1,700 customers on our platform, which are real estate photographers mainly. <laughs> so they're the ones who control their customers. So they can give the access that they want to them. But usually it's better if the photographer would themselves because we don't want, it's not something that can be breakable. Like it's easy to go back, but we prefer that like, they know more the platform, but they can, if they want, they can give access to their, to their customers, but we prefer, and they prefer usually for photographers prefer them to do modifications by themselves. Okay. But, so, so that's awesome. So uh, changing, so just features that the photographer change names, change, which essentially are labels, I presume that you could change the title at the top. Is there a feature for dropping in a logo if you want? Yes, they can. On actually, also on the um, on the, the JPEG one, they can personalize it also. So they can put the name the, and the picture of the agent. They can do that with the logo of their banner and all that. That could be. It could also be customizable on that side okay. also. And in the bottom right, I, I noticed there was a disclaimer. So if, if yes. the that particular agent has a different requirement for a disclaimer, you could put that there. Exactly. And also about measurements, um, our measurements are 99% precise, but accurate. But sometimes like, especially in different states like North Carolina, they're really, really strict on that. So they have, they take laser, me laser measurements. So with that, instead of like being 20, 20 feet, 10 inches, it could be 20 feet, 11 inches. So they can go also there and modify all the dimensions right there. Okay, sure. so anything else on uh, floor plans or floor plans back end for photographers? No, I think covers it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if this is related to floor plans, but I believe uh, we could uh, download an a object file. An object file, sir. A, a .obj file is that with 3D tours? Is that with UI meet? Yeah, with the, uh, the OBJ, like it will be. Uh, yes, it will be with a 3D tour. Yes. Ah, okay. So this is this is somewhat geeky for our audience and for a yes. newbie that is probably not something you want to know about. But I, I just say for our advanced photographers that might be working with an architect that is designing within a CAD program. The question may come up is to say, can you provide me with a file so that I can begin renovating this house? And so it may be helpful to know that you can get a .obj file. That file can be converted typically into a SketchUp file or a Revit file or something that's actually use, uh, useful for the architect. Again, this is kind of an advanced feature, but just good to know that if that's something that comes up, space planner might find it interesting, an architect, a uh, general contractor, that is something that is supported by the uh, Urban Immersive, the Tour Buzz platform. So we have a customer that managed, like they have 1,400 locations and they're using our tools to manage and prepare their designs and the scope of work that they have to do. They're using our tools for that. Okay, so it's good. We're we're, we're trying to stay super focused today on real estate photographers, the, the real estate photography services. Yes. yes. Uh, that said, it's, it's super hard not to talk about all the different <laughs> either features that Urban Immersive offers that is actually beyond real estate photography and beyond residential uh, real estate or even commercial real estate, because I can imagine everything we're looking at applies to nearly every vertical like uh, hotels yes. or restaurants or retail, et cetera. But sure. um, know that there are other features for purpose of today's show. We'll try to yes. keep it focused on real estate services yes. for real estate photographers. Uh, forgive me, I digress. We were, we were really talking about this single property website. I'm going to guess that to, to some extent, uh, you, you kind of felt like you were done with that topic. But I think what I want to kind of just ask the question, uh, so the, the solutions that can be incorporated in a single property website are photos, floor plan, 3D tour, yeah. 3D tour video. And video and also information about the, um, like 
business property. like the neighborhood and public information. Okay. Neighborhood. Yes. Google Maps. Yes. Information about the property. A link to download the flyer. Yes. And I've run out of fingers. Was there, were yeah. there any other digital assets that can be incorporated into the single property website? We covered them all. <laughs> okay. And then, so uh, I think I heard, was there, was there nearly 20 or more than 20 single property? Yeah, 20 different layouts of a single 20 property. different layouts. And yes. so I could imagine that if you have a homeowner that has uh that you're not doing a 3d tour and and therefore you want to emphasize the photos first or you want to emphasize the videos first or for that matter emphasize the 3d tour first the different templates uh, oh, yes, essentially right. highlight a, a a different digital asset exactly yes and, and oh I, I i think i have to add another finger here is, is uh, includes agent contact info. Yes, yeah, so it's an digital asset, but as like information for sure. Agent contact info with all uh, like pictures, logos, banners, and all that. Yes. Yes, and also a, a more info form, so a lead generation form, so that yes. the prospective home buyer can request information from yes. that agent. Exactly. Yes. Okay, and I just. Out of curiosity, the agent gets the information. Do they get it by text? Do they get it by email? Do they get it by smoke signal? It's usually by email, by email. And in their panel, like there's different ways they can that can be set up by the photographer. So the ways of communication will be there in kind of panel. They can okay. personalize it, it, Is text one of them? I want to get a text yes, every one. time yeah. I got a lead. So text and email be the yeah. most popular. Is there is there anything else on either the 3D tour, the interactive floor plan within the 3D tour, the floor plans, or the single property websites or the flyers that we haven't discussed? About the 3D tour, if you want to go maybe more in the back end, I don't know if you want to cover that right now. We could um, like more like the capture, like we were talking about, like the capture of the of the images. Um, how it works like with the UI capture and um, I, I I think I would rather do as either a separate show on how to do capture. Oh, but just like just quickly then, just like with the capture, like I said, like just like two there's one of the two important things is like okay. Can you tell me about capture for 3D tour paired yes. up with a Rico Theta Z1 or Rico exactly. Theta X, for example, and, and using the, the capture app. Exactly. So using capture app, the good thing about it is. Like I said earlier, you can place manually a 360 that you've done. So if the algorithm cannot place it automatically, you can override that and place it by yourself. So you won't be stuck at something that's scanning and say, scan again, scan again. That won't happen because you just put it manually. It's not, it goes there and that's it. So you won't, and you don't have struggles and same thing with long corrid corridors or <laughs> areas that are more the same. Like it's 150 feet of the same wall you won't have any problems capturing that. So you won't, you won't be stuck at a point that you cannot go forward. And also um, the size of it. I, I, even before you go on, because I, 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 there's, there's two things that, that struck me as soon as you said that. First is um, the, a, a long hallway that looks identical here and 10 feet from here and 20 feet from here. And I, I think a, a newbie photographer would kind of scratch their head and go, well, you know, so what? There are other platforms that you could use and you'll get stuck. And then the second thing was, we're just making the assumption here, but not all, I mean, not all platforms do this. Uh, Urban Immersive, Tour Buzz creates, builds the tour for you. So exactly. th this is not you're on your own to build the tour. That said, if you want to nudge your 360 to be in a slightly different spot, you can. You can play with it, yes. And if it's too off, at, our post-production team will call you afterwards. <laughs> oh, there's something wrong with it. But at least the, the nice way is you won't get stuck at some place. Also, it enables team scanning. Um, a customer of us did a, a school like for of 260,000 square foot took them five hours there were five photographers and we merged everything in the end 
So, uh, well, you know, what, once again, is if, if you're a newbie photographer and that may roll off your head here, there are other platforms that uh, you can only use one camera to complete the entire tour. You can't merge content from four other photographers to get the job done quickly. So uh, exactly. point taken. Exactly. So those are the something that's also nice and also time wise because the Ricoh is a is a quick um, is a quick camera. Like to do a house, it takes a like to do a house of two thousand square feet will take you about fifteen minutes. So <laughs> uh, at, at a high level, was there anything else to about shooting with a three hundred and sixty camera meets uh, urban immersive tour bus no. capture? App? That was it. No, that was it. And also the, about floor plan also. We can have a, a building report if they want. It's optional, but that will give you some information. The same thing as a floor plan, but that will give you access to information of uh, what's the square footage of the area, how many uh, doors, windows, uh, square foot for the walls also. So if you need to repaint, you'll be able to know, okay, there's type of flooring. So if you need, okay, there's that many square feet of uh, carpets, of ceramic, or of uh, wood floors, and also the fixtures and you know, how many toilets, faucets, sinks, uh, baths, and showers. So that's okay. kind of information you can, can get also. And that that's called uh, a? Property, re I'm sorry, a property report. Property report. Okay. That's something you could, photographer might offer as an add-on for some extra dollars? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Good. So I, I think what might be appropriate be, before we move on, Francois, is to, is to say to our audience, you know, gosh, we didn't really cover the either in detail the capture process or the back end content management system go to urbanimmersive.com u r b a n i m m e r s i v e dot com and click on a link to schedule uh, to participate in a a live weekly webinar and you can learn about the back, you can learn about capture using a Rico Theta camera paired with the capture app and see the content management system, the back end uh, of how the workflow is uh, where we talked about, oh, how do I pick one of the 20 plus single property websites? How do I uh, upload content? How do I add photos, et cetera? Yeah. Perfect. Good. So let's move on to UI Meet 3D. Yes. Perfect. So that's um, what, when I talked to you about the storyline of the company, <laughs> we did that in 2010, actually, um, with, with avatars. And because technology was a bit different 12 years ago, it was avatars. So we can, you were able to interact some of the sort of a gamification of a 3D environment. So you can interact with somebody else. So we could chat at the time because uh, there was no, uh, video feed, but we can chat with the video. Well, this is so hard to explain to somebody. It may be one of those oh, we'll we have to, to see it. One, yes. And and I, I believe you're going to do, you're going to run a video and talk over yes, it. Yes, exactly. So, so let me just kind of tee this up before you share your screen and play the video. Uh, because of the way we do our technology to have a conversation with Fr Francois in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, me in Atlanta, we're using cameras, et cetera. It's super hard to actually demo this by using our computers and having a conversation because we're tying up everything we need in terms of cameras and et cetera on our computer to, to do our WGA and TV live at five. So, so uh, Francois is going to run a video for UI Meet 3D and talk over it and we'll have a conversation about it. Yes. Perfect. So if you see here, okay, so I'll just start before I start the video. Like this is like what you see when I showed you in the tour earlier, join you on me 3D that that has been done. <laughs> so now we're in an environment together. We're three of us. You can see here who is it, who is an environment. And then on the chat, like a uh, hello. So we just, so we can chat if you want. So, and then also the chat will give you information who has joined, who has left and all, this, all that stuff. So here, that, that's me. Like it's like I said, it's like it's like a Zoom. It's really like a Zoom, but inside of an environment. So we're three of us, and that's the obviously we're seeing the screen of Emily here. 
So that's why she's uh, <laughs> she's static on the end. So so if she starts, so then you see other person, other people moving. We can talk to each other or like we're doing right now. So it's the same, same, same thing, same um, same kind of stuff. So we're just talking. Then we see, and then it's okay. That person is facing forward, like and not looking at me. So that's a good thing. Also, if you look also on the back end, like we saw urban immersive, that could be personalized. So it could be a banner if they want. Um, then we'll show you the map. The interactive map still works and it shows you where you are and where the other person are. So with that, you can choose what she just did and stuff that she wanted to follow this person. So now they're together. So when they're walking together, you'll see them. They're always together and I'm, I'm here all by myself. So when she's moving, you say is moving with her. So that's why they're following each other. And I'm here in the autism room. And, and then they, they'll be back and the comment and join me there. So that way you can know where everybody is. We can talk to each other, say, come, <laughs> come back, come and see me. So that's why there. Then she clicked here. You can say, okay, you can click, go to the same position. So then if she clicks that, then she'll move directly to the same position as me. So you don't have to walk through the whole thing to get to, to, to get back to somebody to meet them. Now she is though, but like uh, just hold on. So she just follow me. Uh, then she'll jump right away and and meet me right away with that. So that way we can still talk to each other. Like I said, we can still see each other. Um, and the good thing when you're following some person, like it's good, it's good for open houses, virtual open houses, because you can really walk with somebody else. You can show them things, and uh, I'll just hold on for her to come and join me. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, we're together. So we are in the same room right now. So again, we're talking to each other. And then from that moment, what we can do with that is uh, what she'll do, she'll ask for me to, to join her and to follow her. So then she's asking everybody to, to follow her. So then we can, we can accept. And then shows that we have accepted to follow her. So then, then we should start moving. I'll, I'll, I'll go with her. And that's why we're all the three here on the same spot because we're, <laughs> we're together. We're not seeing each other. So that's why we're all in the same spot right now. And you see on the map also that we're working together. So she can bring me to any place. And now she'll change floors also. And when she changes floors, like again, we're jumping up with her on the, on the second floor. So it's a really interactive way. That's the good thing is there's no download, no plugins. It's built in the platform. So you don't have to run anything else on top of it, outside of it. It's really, like I said, it's really, really built in. So the level of uh, interactivity, walking together into the environment, because 3D tours are nice. It's a good thing. It's a nice to have. But like by yourself, visiting houses, eh, becomes sometimes a redundant. <laughs> it's like, oh, I would like to do something else. With that, say your mother-in-law, your, your family come and visit the house with me. You're getting there, talking to each other. Do you like this? Do you like that? So that way, it's a nice way to bring three tours to the next level. And like I said, there's nothing like walking together with somebody else. Now we're not to get like now we're not in the same position. So that's why we we broke off. So then we can wander around like, as we want and go in different places by uh, by each other. So that's why it's really um, it's the level of interactivity and uh, the features that there, it's like, it's unmatched. It's really, no, we're really proud of it because it's our technology, but something that's in, as integrated and as built in the platform, I think this is, uh, the, we don't see that much on the, on the market right now. And what we're trying to do also, um, and that's sort of a scoop off, <laughs> is to be able to go from one, one property to the other without breaking this. So I could call a call for action, asking for another, asking for another, um, another property that we can go visit together without having to disconnect and connect again. So that's, we're working on that right now. Hopefully by the end of the summer, uh, that will be uh, up and running. So. Awesome, thank, thank you for that tour. Um, uh, UI Meet 3D, crazy exciting. Uh, uh, I got to experience it firsthand. Gislin, the, the CEO of Urban Immersive, gave me the a personal uh, walk around experience. And kind of my takeaways was, okay, this is, it's, 
it Zoom meets 3D tours on steroids. Uh, so instead of always having little boxes of like, okay, where are people that you, you kind of have these little lollipops, I'm not sure uh, what the term would be, but yeah. that you can see where others are in the space. And I found that's nice because if, if you're a real estate agent and I'm talking to you about the fireplace and you're looking out the window to, to see the view of the ocean, maybe I ought to walk over to where my client <laughs> is exactly. and start talking about the ocean instead of the fireplace. So exactly. you have some sense of presence within the tour that you don't necessarily have with doing a Zoom. So exactly. you have this very powerful video chat within the 3D tour experience. Uh, and, and, and then you have these extra bonuses that, oh, I, I'm, I'm with Francois. Francois is giving me a tour. Okay, I can join Francois and have the tour through his eyes. Or Francois could, um, as a prospective buyer, that I'm a buyer of that house, and I want to show the agent and ask questions. So Francois, as the agent, could follow me as I walk through the space uh, and ask my question. So uh, it's, I think it's intuitively all the things that you would expect, except the the video chat is kind of a little bit on steroids because you get to be actually uh, within the tour and have some presence of knowing where everyone is. Exactly. And um, on top of that, also for um, the real estate agent's pers perspective, it's a good lead gen because we, we can have different options. We can have a bot of the agents, they would like more information and then they click yes, perfect. Then the agent receives a text. Okay, there's somebody who would like to join you in a private meeting. Are you available? And they click yes and they go with them. So again, it's a nice way also to, to be there with them and to interact. And the other good thing is like, as you like you saw like earlier in the video, like you, there's an avatar, like a faceless avatar. So you know that other people are visiting the house with you. Even if you don't, connect like in the UMI3, but at least people are there. So you can try to connect with, you know, people are visiting and that's why you see if there's a bot, do you like to get some information? And then you can go in the private room and then go in all the UMI3 features with like the video and uh, and sound. So. And uh, how many people can be within the experience? So far, 20 works fine and we're pumping it up. <laughs> okay, so. so if I decide that I wanna have a virtual open house, and promote here's maybe here's the QR code or here's the link, then yes. then 20 people might be coming or going and th they're walking around. And as the agent, I can even see where people are looking and what's of interest to them and decide exactly. whether I want to join person one, two, three, five, 10, or 20 while they're walking around the house. And I can also uh, ask for a registration form even before I get into the tour. Exactly. We could ask, they could ask for a, like a virtual meeting. So much. I so it's a guest book. You you sign the guest yeah. book as you walk into the to the open house. Is there yeah. is there anything else to talk about on UI Meet 3D? No, that I think that's uh yeah that covers it. Yes. Two other topics I wanted to cover: media delivery. Yes, media delivery. We offer that like on a single asset, so they have all the information that comes with it. Like all the digital, digital assets that we I showed you can be delivered together. And like I said, then they have different choices of branded and unbranded uh, YouTube videos, floor plans. Uh, well, that's what all comes together. And also in that regards, I'll give you a scoop. <laughs> um, we're syndicated with realtor.com now. So awesome. as long that's as uh, it's the, if, if the real estate agents create a property with the address on, re on realtor.com, everything will be downloaded also automatically for them. Okay, awesome. Uh, on the... Uh, on the media delivery, um, just to back up a second, how about video? Is video automatically created as a photographer? Do I have any say of how that video is created? Or uh, could you tell us about uh, video? There's an option for like a sort of YouTube video that's uh, automatically created from the 3D tour. So it's a simple thing. It's nothing complicated, but at least it's generated automatically. So there's not, not much involved on the uh, photographer's side to create it. Okay, uh, so it, it, essentially, I want to say that video is kind of like a slideshow of the photos. It's not created from the 3D tour. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Slideshow yeah. from the photos and can include the agent's info, the agent's photo, the agent's logo, uh, and all that is 
is created automatically. So if I just exactly. say, check the box, I want the agent's name, photo, contact info, and I want some generic music, and this is the music I would like. I So essentially, you can get a, a video created to kind of check that box uh, for exactly. your real estate agent. Exactly. And is that automatically published to YouTube if I want that feature? Yes, you want, yes, exactly. It's all there. So okay, in the client great. panel, that, that box can be checked and it will, it will be automatically. Uh, uh, photo editing. For, I think that's a new service that we're offering. Um, it's not big public now, but we're getting there. So um, we'll be able to offer photo editing with our, we have a team of, based in France actually, of photo editors that are really, really uh, surprisingly good. <laughs> and um, that way we can offer a service that's, it's a built thing kind of, the good thing is it's like, it's like a positions ourselves as a one-stop shop. So you can deal with us for everything from A to Z and like I said, three tours for editing pictures, single property websites. So that's why we started to offer that. So it really uh, allows you to have more control. And again, deal only with one supplier instead of having the dealing with the different third parties. So that's why we, we started to offer that also. So I, I think what I'm hearing in part is this tech meets service of all under one roof so that all the basic services that a real estate photographer would want uh, can all be delivered from one company so that you don't have to go to one company for floor plans, another company for single property website, another company for 3D tours, another company to in, include live video chat, another company for your video editing, all under one umbrella. Exactly. Yes. We haven't talked about uh, pricing. Uh, I know all the pricing is actually on the website. Uh, so urbanimmersive.com, uh, click on the service you're interested in. Uh, yeah. is, is something you can tell us about pricing, for sure, like the way it works with so with credits. So if there's some bulk prices, also somebody knows that they'll deal with us a lot. They can purchase more credits and they'll get a better price. Uh, so pricing works. The good thing about pricing, though, it's like a pay per use. It's not. There's no subscription, no hosting fees. Like the there's a three years of free hosting with uh, our three tours. So so with that, the good thing is like you know what you pay up front. There's no like no no recurring fees, so there's no uh, and like the slower months, you won't be stuck with a big bill and you have to pay. Like you you, you give us money when you make money. <laughs> okay, so uh, unlike some other company in the space that charges a subscription, you you can pay per tour, or pay per single property website, or pay exactly. pay pay per s solution, and then uh, if you like it, great keep going. And if you keep going and you're using a lot of it, there is an on-ramp for, for savings. Uh, and uh, I think all the services work like that, maybe except for UI. Me. I mean, 3D actually right now, it'll be working membership. Um, right now we're still like, it's not the, it's nice, but it's not where we want it to be. So it's more of a better thing. So we can include it without subscription, but eventually there'll be a subscription for it. Okay. So uh, by and large, the pricing strategy of Urban Immersive Tour Buzz, I, I think of Urban Immersive and Tour Buzz as one company. Urban Immersive is actually the parent company yes. for Tour Buzz. And Tour Buzz is actually the, the platform, platform that's exactly. used to deliver all the services we're talking about. Yeah. So if you're a real estate photographer and you're kind of scratching your head, I keep hearing Urban Immersive, I keep hearing Tour Buzz, you can think of it as the same company, but actually Urban Immersive parent company to Tour Buzz, as you mentioned at the start of today's show, Urban Immersive acquired Tour Buzz and Tour Buzz is the platform for delivering the various services exactly. to real estate photographers. And because so Tour Buzz was well known in the real estate market, so that's why we... Uh, we kept the platform name because people were used to it <laughs> and I was just integrating. Yeah. Uh, and just really for sake of simplicity, you can go to urbanimmersive.com and it'll still take you to the appropriate tour bus page. Exactly. Yes. Uh, uh, Francois, is there, is there anything that we didn't cover today that you wanted to, to cover about uh, for real estate photographers that this introduction to urban immersive real estate photography services? No, I think we covered uh, all the main things. Um, 
Yes, I think we uh, really. Um, that was a full scope. <laughs> All right, really, awesome. Uh, yeah. So I, I, you know, I think just to kind of re, re uh, you know, to, to to summarize for real estate photographers, uh, if you're new to adding 3D tours uh, and other ancillary services, uh, what you'll find is being able to go get all these solutions from one company has an advantage. Uh, and uh, there, if you don't end up connecting with Urban Immersive and you end up using another platform, you may find that when you want to add live guided tours, that's a separate company. When you want floor plans, maybe you can order it from that company or you order it from somebody else. Uh, single property websites may be ordered from a different company, a content delivery uh, solution may be a different company, a flyers may or may not be offered. So all of these solutions, uh, I want to say the strength of Urban Immersive is, is the uh, intersection of technology meets services so that Urban Immersive has kind of figured out how to make it as easy, fast, and seamless to deliver all these solutions under one umbrella. And I think part of the magic and the secret sauce we haven't really talked about, but you know, when you start having all your content in one place, then it makes it super easy to create a single property website and all the exactly. derivative works and all the... In yeah, because we see like photographers, like they're our customers, but they're more partners for us. And we want, and we know they're busy. They have a tough job. Like their customers are demanding. They need everything yesterday. <laughs> so it's hard, like the scope of work they have to do, like it's something that's not always easy for them. So that's why by working like that, offering a full scope of services that like we do, simplifies their life, uh, real estate photographer's life for sure. Because like you said, they won't have to integrate different things. We'll take care of that for them. And they're, we're on their side. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I would amplify that uh, of what you said, Francois, because some other companies may be equally talking about selling their cameras and services to real estate agents, photographers, and, and even offering the service themselves. And all of a sudden, you, you kind of scratch your head wondering, well, are you know, well, they're selling me a camera and they're selling me a, a subscription and, but aren't they competing with me because they're also selling to the people that I talk to and they're offering services on demand in competition to me. So uh, I, this is something we shouldn't take for granted is that Urban Immersive uh, Tour Buzz is totally obsessed with real estate photographers as its clients. Exactly. You know who your audience is. Exactly. Urban immersive audience is real estate photographers. We're in service to real estate photographers. That's who our real urban immersive clients are, uh, period, paragraph, and end of story. Uh, <laughs> and that may not be obvious uh, when you start talking to other companies that sell cameras and subscriptions and yeah. offer their services on demand to uh, your potential clients. Our goal, like you said, is not to sell cameras or SaaS subscription. Our goal is to sell our, our platform and sell. So as, when the photographer is successful, we're successful. <laughs> so we don't, like you said, we don't want to go over them. We don't like want to work with them. So, and that reflects all we're offering. It reflects is all focused on that. Awesome. Francois, thanks for being on the show today. Pleasure, Dan. It was really great. Thank you. Thanks a lot, sir, for having me. I really appreciate it. Awesome. We've been visiting with Francois Hughes-Leberge, Vice President, Business Development and Partnerships for Urban Immersive, uh, website urbanimmersive.com for uh, Francois in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I'm Dan Smigbrod in Atlanta, founder of the We Get Around Network Forum, and you've been watching WGAN-TV 96.9.